Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Conceal Carry Training with Max Michelle, presented by Galco. Now in the past few episodes, we worked a lot in my shop talking about the mental mindset behind Conceal Carry, how we carry, why we carry. We even talked about some of the draw techniques, but we really didn't get much into the actual shooting just yet. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about recoil management stance, grip, and how they work together in speed shooting or combative shooting. Now the first part of the recoil management process is the stance. And for the stance, we want to be as wide as possible. We want our feet to be wider than shoulder width apart with our strong foot slightly to the rear. There's three main reasons why we want to be wide and aggressive. Number one is for recoil management. As the gun's trying to lift up and back and push us back, we want to have that wide base so that way we can accept all that movement and have less movement of the gun on target. Second, we want to be able to utilize our lower body and our legs to transition and help drive our upper body to the next target or moving the gun from threat to threat. So it's important to have that wide base for recoil management as well as transitioning, but also we want to have that wide base so we can move quickly and explode and locate the next cover. In other words, if my stance was narrow and I was shooting quickly, I'd probably lose my balance. And if I start transitioning the gun, it's going to be very slow and ineffective and once I get to the next target, I'm going to have some left and right lateral movement until the gun stabilizes. And then last but not least, if I needed to run anywhere in this position, I would have to take a step back before I can get moving forward. So those are the main reasons why we want to be wide and aggressive. Next, we want to make sure that our chest is upright and relaxed and slightly leaned over at the waist. So as I go to drive the gun out to the target, I'm going to make sure my stance is wide, my chest is upright and relaxed, my head is upright, my shoulders are down into their sockets, and I'm bringing the gun up to my line of sight and I'm slightly leaning over at the waist so I can push more weight behind the gun. The stance is just part of the recoil management process. We also have to look at the grip. Now as we look at the grip, I want to make sure that I'm doing so with three points of contact. The first point of contact being the web of my hand going as high as possible in the back strap of that pistol. Ultimately, we're trying to create leverage on the pistol. As it's trying to go up and back, we're trying to keep it forward and down so we can shoot more rapidly only because we're seeing our sight picture that much sooner. We're not just shooting fast for the sake of shooting fast. We want to be fast and accurate. And how do we do that? It's with three points of contact and getting leverage on the pistol. So I want to get my first point of contact, which is the web of my firing hand, as high as I can get on the back strap of that pistol. The second point of contact is that middle knuckle underneath the trigger guard, getting again as high as I can get there. Now the third point of contact is going to be the index finger of my non-firing hand going underneath the trigger guard with my palm facing toward the ground and rotating up and around until I get both thumbs pointing out toward the targets. So if you can see here a natural arc in my thumb here and that natural arc in my, in my palm of my support hand, I'm going to try to marry those up there. So I have as much contact with the pistol as possible, but more importantly, as much leverage with the pistol as possible. Now as we start to think about trigger finger placement and grip pressure, a couple of quick things to think about there is I want to put the meaty portion of that first digit flat on the trigger. If I put just the tip of my finger on the trigger and I activate the trigger quickly, I can push it away from its target. If I put too much finger in there and I press the trigger straight back to the rear quickly, I can pull it away from the target. So that's why we want to have that meaty portion of that first digit flat on the trigger. And as far as grip pressure, I always tell folks if you had a hammer in your hand and you were going to drive a nail into a piece of wood, that's about how much pressure you have with your firing hand, so you have control over it, but you're not death gripping it, and your support hand just has twice as much pressure. But again, the stance and the grip must work together to give us that recoil management. So I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite drills here, 20 Alpha, and test that recoil management. This is 20 Alpha. This is one of my favorite drills, and I've been running it for years to test my recoil management. All it is is four strings of five shots. And we're not even going to draw from the holster. We're going to start from the high ready position to truly test and isolate the recoil management. We can add the draw stroke in at a later episode or in your own training. But what the drill is, is we're going to start at the high ready position, at the buzzer, extend out, fire five shots on target, follow through, reset, and repeat for a total of 20 shots through four strings. Our goal is to get 20 alpha. I'm utilizing the USPSA style target so it has the A zone on it, which is about five inches wide by 11 inches tall and we're trying to get all 20 shots within that.
So there you have it guys, 20 Alpha. It's a great drill that tests the recoil management. Again, we're not drawing from the holster, but I have my par time set at two seconds at about five yards in distance. You can choose any distance, you can choose any par time. In fact, you don't even have to start with a par time. Just purely work on extending the pistol out toward the target, establishing that two hand grip, getting the leverage that we're looking for, and getting multiple shots on target at a high rate of speed within a softball size group. And we can only do this with the proper stance and grip to give you that recoil management system. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Galco, visit galco.com and use code MAX15 on any of our products for 15% off. Until next time, stay safe.